I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I found you by the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. Is that a scar? Is that a reason? We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them! Goddamn fools!
Jody, what have you done? How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time, honey. Girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. All right, Nathan's waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I don't have any more. Hi, change. Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. Hello, precious. Don't you look pretty today? Better late than never, I guess. Here we are. Rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. Hasn't been particularly cold. No, it hasn't. Come on. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card. Can you see the car, Jody? Next car.
Next card. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked! I'm no, telling Kathleen, you, it's, it's not locked. locked. It's probably get just stuck. Give here. us a moment. Get me out of here now! Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. I you can't! He's not listening to your dog! He's not listening to me! Calm down, Kathleen. We're on our way. Jody, something's wrong. She's in danger. Get her out of there! It's over. It's over. It will never be over. Dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. The dress is perfect. You look great. Who are these people? Ah, uh, diplomats, politicians, businessmen, spies. It's the usual embassy crowd. But the most important thing? Act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Brian, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheikh Ahmed. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The 
the pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on that. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. He found you charming. I should be flattered. Yeah, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. Still into the Mustang. You act like you can't afford three Ferraris. It's not the money. I just remember how it used to feel when my dad drove me around like this. I want that back. The wind in my head. Eight cylinders of America. Sorry, ma'am. This area is off limit. Embassy personnel only. Elizabeth, I see you've escaped from our mutual friend. <laughs> A drink, perhaps? We should get to know each other better. Maybe later. As you wish. Later it is? I need to find a quiet place. Yarli kun al mahala fi waji zadvain. Niyat vada ala rahati. Aiden, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? It hurts like hell when you're too far away.
careful, Heidi. You know you can't touch other people when you're controlling someone. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. Habib, mother the The cameras. I told you to take care of them first. Man! Ana? Ana? Kuntu ara kulla shayin ala mayuram? الخدمات اللي قدمتم لك تقدر تم This is the place you know what to do. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Yeah, heavy! Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. Switch somewhere to move the painting. Find it, I didn't. See if you can open the safe. Good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. هل من أحد هناك؟ الرجاء الخروج من هناك على الفور ولكن ماذا تفعل هنا؟ إن هم رهد السيدات انصرف من هنا حسنة. أيها المنحرف سأنصرف
Sorry. I can't do anything to help you. Good luck. Jody, all right? Don't touch me! I wanna go now. Right, yeah, we're leaving. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not gonna back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and these dorky guys we could find. Was oh, it a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. I'll look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. No! Uh, Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy!
garbage is that? This might over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Yeah, do you want one? Yeah, cool, sure. <laughs> hey, don't choke on it. I bet it's her first time. No. I've had some before. <laughs> of course you have. Want some? Sure. <coughs> oh, first time, huh? It got me that way too. <coughs> Jody, you're acting kind of weird. Hey, pale face. You sure you feel all right? You're not looking too hot, Jody. <laughs> Ooh, you look kind of scary like that. <laughs> We're here. I'm thinking the same thing. I know, you told me. Just wanted to see what it would be like to go out and, and have friends. This is not what I expected. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. So you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. 
And you? Where did you live before? On, on the base. I, I, I've always lived there. I was born there. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get, and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. And you, what, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read, and I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I, can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I sort of... I have a gift. A link with an entity. An entity? You mean... You mean a ghost or something like that? Well, this is gonna sound... really crazy, but... it's kind of like a... Like an invisible presence that follows me. Is it? Uh, is it here now? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't like upset you or anything. No, that's okay. <sighs> oh, slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Sure. Girls, you mean? <laughs> You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I guess you could say that. Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers. <laughs> no, <laughs> Great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? All right then. So, what are you gonna do, Jody? Just be quiet. And don't move. <laughs> oh, I'm scared already. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up, Steven. Aiden, they're waiting.
TV. Look at the TV. Wait, can you hear that? So, it sounds like a voice. Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that, that was really scary. I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. Sorry, I... You know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and, most important, to open my birthday <sighs> gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and in period chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection. Uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar hey, Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her, my mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut, a slut and a witch. We should like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mistress of the Obscure Darkness, bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> please, please let me Not out! From the first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please let me out! Please! Did someone say K? Please, no, I want to get out! Please, I want to get out! I'm begging yeah, let's you, get this please place. let me out! mad at us. Don't be ridiculous. No one can move stuff. <laughs> Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> the door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not staying here. Your fault we're in trouble, so cut it out. He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of me from now on. Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him from me? And if I take a look? So, 
this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Can you tell him to do something? You tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. Your room this is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. The training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Come on, Holmes, keep up.
start again. Start again. Start again. Start again. <laughs> 